In this video, we are going to review ClickUp versus Notion project management, which one is better. So ClickUp or Notion, two of the most popular project management tools today, but which one actually fits your workflow? The links are going to be available in the description below for Notion and for ClickUp as well. So go ahead and click the link in the description below to access these apps we are going to be using today. Because in this video, we are going to break down the features, pros, cons, and help you decide which one is best for you. So go ahead and let's get started. Now ClickUp is a powerhouse in the world of project management. ClickUp also brands itself as one app to replace them all and honestly, it lives up to that claim in many ways. It is also designed for productivity, driven teams who want structure, efficiency, and collaboration in one place. From the second you log in, you are going to be greeted with a dashboard that feels like a mission control. You will get spaces, folders, lists, and so on, which will help you organize everything in hierarchy. This is perfect for teams that handle multiple clients, projects, or departments. Now let's head back to Notion. We are going to be starting to create accounts so we can review them deeper. Click on sign up, then just go ahead, choose your Google account, and then continue with your email to set up your account. Just give it some time to load and you will be redirected to Notion homepage. From here, as you can see, you can choose how to use Notion for work. Click on continue. And here you can choose that you want it on your own or with your team. Click on continue. Then tell them about yourself. Are you a salesperson, a CEO? Then click on continue. After that, you can choose to be a individual freelancer or team member. Then continue again, then choose the size of your company. And this step is crucial. So go ahead, choose what are you planning to use Notion for? Documents, projects, or anything you like, funding tracker or calendar. So go ahead, choose the ones you are going to be using. And here you can choose your plan if you want the plus plan or the free plan. So go ahead, choose the one you want, click on continue. And there you have it, the first step is completed of creating your account. Here, as you can see, this is your workspace. And here you can start completing these tasks to get used to Notion. This is a getting started tab. So after you complete each step, go ahead and check it. And you can continue again and again. Click on this to toggle block. So go ahead, click on it. And here you can see guides and frequently asked questions. So let's go ahead and start creating by clicking on the home page. This is the interface of the home page where you can start creating from documents to projects to meeting notes. As you can see below, these are some guides. To create a new one, you can click on this button right here. You can give it a title here. So go ahead and type in the title you want. Let's say for example, this one, then type in the commands or the description. If you don't want to, there is other options. You can click on this, select table or board or list to import it to this page. Or you can also select from available templates by clicking on this. And these are the templates that are available to use. So go ahead, scroll down. These are the free ones, the featured templates that you can use. ID book, trading journal, or art inspiration, as you can see. Now, if we scroll down, these are the paid templates. $2.00. As you can see here, if you choose one, let's say for example this, you have to pay it to use it. But if you want to use free ones, go back 
and then scroll down then choose the free template you want let's say for example you want to use an id book so go ahead click on it this is the id bank that you are going to be using so if you like it you can go ahead and review it by clicking on this button right here so click on it this is also important so you can preview the document that you are going to be using so you can see how it works before you add it to your workspace now if you are satisfied you can go ahead click on add you can choose to add it to private or you can add it to your workspace so choose the one you want i am going to add it to my workspace just give it some time to load then click on see template because now it's ready to check so go ahead click on it give it some time to load again so you can start using it and now you can start editing it type in anything you want and start using it so this is the overview of the id bank as you can see here you can also change the titles of the tasks this is a task about writing a self-help book you can also customize it type in the title you want let's say for example create an app then type in the details of this task for example learn coding and to learn ui and ux design in order to create the app so after you do that you can select the category is this personal or business finance or whatever you want this is just an example so you can see how notion works you can also choose the priority level it is high priority and the status is it still in progress or completed then choose the one you want then after that you can add a comment or you add a property again you can add from this list of properties and you can customize it by yourself let's say for example we need a date priority so go ahead choose the date and then select the title of this property let's say for example starting date when this is going to start and go ahead now choose the date by clicking on this then choose the starting date from here and the end date at the bottom so this is how to use notion tasks there is other things as well from here you can see the completed task that you have created before and you can also use the back end or create a new id this is so helpful to organize your ideas and come back to them later now in your workspace you can start creating other things like a fundraising tracker that can help you to track the money coming in to your fundraise for a project or a charity you can also create a document hub that has documents that you have category and everything you can also create other things so this is helpful in notion if we head back to the home page you can see the project that was recently used and come back to it later now let's head back to ClickUp. let's create an account for free go ahead type in your email to get started so we can give it a review as well now what really makes ClickUp shine is the level of control you can customize almost everything task statues workflows dashboard views so that the platform works for you now just choose what would you like to use ClickUp for is it for work personal or for school so go ahead choose the one you want 
that you are going to be using it for. Now, what would you like to manage with ClickUp? Choose the ones you like. Then, how did you hear about ClickUp on YouTube or Reddit? Then you can also, a great thing that you can invite people to your workspace just by typing in their email and they will receive an invite through their mail. They can click on it and then start working with you right away. Click on invite. Do you use any of these tools? You can also start using them inside of ClickUp. So this is a good thing. Click on next. ClickUp has integrations that are solid too, like Slack, Zoom, Google Drive, Outlook, GitHub, Zapier, you name it, it's easy to plug. ClickUp into your existing workflow without starting from scratch. Now finally, click on this, then give it a moment to load. Now ClickUp is more complex. ClickUp can feel a bit overwhelming at first. As you can see right now, just give it a moment. Then click on next if you want to skip this video. ClickUp is a bit complex. It is a learning curve. And if you are not someone who enjoys structure or configuration, it might feel like too much. But for teams that want a full on productivity command center, ClickUp delivers in spades. Now, as you can see here, these are the projects, tasks, everything here, the channels, the messages tabs also. Now, to start a task, just go ahead, click on it. You can give it a title, like I showed you in Notion before. So, go ahead, give it a name that you want. For example, create an app. You can choose the status that it is also similar to Notion, to do or in progress or completed. You can also assign this to your team member. You can select the dates, the starting date, the end date. So your team member can know the date this project must be finished. So go ahead and choose it. Other thing you can choose is the priority level from here. Urgent, high, normal, low. You can also estimate the time, then track the time also. There is other options that you can use later. Now, these are the subtasks that are inside the tasks. For example, to make the app more engaging or fun to use. You can add this status of the subtask. Is it in progress or completed? Then you can also create checklists for your teammates. Now, after you are all done, you can head back to the home page or you can click on save and click on favorite so you can come back to it later. You can also share this task by copying the link. So go ahead, make it that you can share it with anyone. Then copy the link and you can send it via whatsapp or instagram if you like now close out of this there is other things to keep in mind tasks are inside projects so this is project two it has these tasks let's head back to project one to see the kind of tasks it has as you can see these are the tasks that project one has you can also customize them as i showed you there is also the integration that I showed you before, Zoom, Trello, Dropbox, Notion also. You can integrate almost any app with ClickUp. Here are the channels you can use to communicate, have followers to add them to you. If you have a bigger team to contact, so you can create a link and then send them to your team member and they will chat with you in this channel so this is also helpful a another thing is a calendar that you can integrate with ClickUp from google calendar or outlook calendar as well this is helpful to use all inside of ClickUp without having to leave it so go ahead and use it as well 
There is also a brain section, as you can see here. You can integrate more apps like Google Drive, Dropbox. You can also add in the Office applications that are available in your PC. Now, as you can see, these are the plans. If you want to upgrade, there is Business Plan, Business Plus, Enterprise, so you can contact them, and also a normal one. But you can start using it for free to see what you like best. Another area where ClickUp stands out is how deeply customizable it is for different industries. It's not just for tech startups or marketing teams. ClickUp is used by software developers, HR departments, agencies, construction companies, even teachers. You can also start recording as I showed you or create a whiteboard. So when it comes to ClickUp versus Notion, which one is actually better? Well, that depends entirely on how your brain works and what kind of system you need. If you want a powerful all-in-one platform with automation tasks, dependencies, dashboards, and serious team productivity features, ClickUp might be your best. But if you prefer clean, flexible, minimalist workspace where you can build your own system from scratch, take deep notes, organize your life, and stay creative, Notion could be your dream tool. There is no one size fits all answer. The truth is, both tools are incredibly powerful in their own way. Some people can use both together, click up for fast execution and notion for planning and documentation. So now it's your turn. Which one fits your style? Drop a comment below and let me know. Are you team notion or team click up? And if you got value from this video, don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on notification. As always, thank you for watching.